what specifically motivated you to start this opportunity fund um, with the Success Foundation? I think uh, just making sure that students have that opportunity um, uh, and it doesn't, whatever their needs are, don't get in the way of that education, giving them the chance um, to be successful. You know, I'd like to, to thank you and the Success Foundation for the opportunity to be able to, to help others. And, you know, we're lucky enough to have the means to be able to do this, but but Julia and I, through all of our years of, of teaching and coaching, un unforeseen expenses occur all the time. And this this is what Julia said is, is correct. We can't allow lack of funds to reduce opportunity and choice for our students. And consequently, this fund, it, it doesn't matter who you are or what you have or don't have, guess what? You can be successful in every component of education in District 6. And that's that's what makes this really special. And, and, and I'm very appreciative of all the people who are, are gonna contribute. Hi, my name is Julie Hill, and I'm the Executive Director of the Success Foundation. I am honored to be joined today by Delia and John Hapley, who are the inspiration behind our Opportunity Fund. And we are raising funds this year for our Opportunity Fund at our drive through breakfast. So I thought it was a great opportunity to sit down with the Hapleys and talk a little bit um, about why you wanted to, to support students in this way. So we're going to start um, 76 years of teaching and coaching experience between the two of you, and you both look very young, so that's <laughs> 76 years is a long time, but could you each give, a, give us just a brief um, background of, of what, where, you, where you came from? So Delia, we'll start with you. All right, thanks, Julie. Um, I grew up in Kremlin, Colorado, and a um, little ranch girl, and uh, went to school at Western State, um, I'm a first generation uh, college graduate. The biggest person that was an inspiration to me was my mom. And uh, she just, she worked really hard and um, that was just how we were brought up. And I wanted to make her proud, so. Unlike 99% of the people in Greeley, I'm a native. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was born here, I'm, I'm sure that I will die here. Um, growing up, uh, my parents stressed the importance of education and how it makes a difference. But not only that, they recognized that they needed to share their their time and their treasures. And you know, I, I especially look to my mom, who world-renowned community activist at the local, state, and national levels. And she started Head Start in, in Greeley. And I remember being needed around in a, in a Rambler station wagon with the fake wood on the side. And I was the only little white face in the whole thing. And uh, I, I remember the profound impact they had when they would give a student a toothbrush and it would come back and it had no bristles on it because everybody in, in the family used it. And I, I learned that it, it was incredibly important to fight for the underserved. And, and, and I learned that at a, at a young age. And, and I, I had the privilege of, of uh, graduating from University High and moving on to CSU and, and uh, then getting a, a graduate degree at UNC. But, what I've done the whole time is, is community service is of the utmost importance to me and to my family. And, and I'm proud of the things that, that we've accomplished during the course of, of time. Thank you. Thank you both. Um, just a little without getting too much in the weeds here, you all have established an endowment and we're planning to have you around for a really many, many more years. So we're not getting rid of you, but uh, upon your passing, the, the a portion of your estate then will go to this opportunity fund. Um, in the meantime though, when we were establishing this, we really wanted to start something now. So I just wanted to let our community know that the funds we're raising at the breakfast will be spendable um, now so that we can and start impacting lives and then Again, just thank you. It's a it's a big a big deal, and um, I am very humbled again by your belief and the Success Foundation and our work. We are passionate about kids, and 
um, their education and their success that they're going to get to do what they want to do and it's not going to there isn't going to be something small or big that's going to get in their way well like you julie i am amazed at this past year the generosity um that people have showed through i mean i would not have expected it in this in this last year the tough times and um just thankful thankful thank you um, for your, your generosity and to continue to support and help us. So it was a good year. You know, we're looking forward to seeing everybody at the, at the drive through <laughs> and in a perfect world, we either shake hands or give hugs and, and that's not going to be able to occur. And that's disheartening to me, of course, more than anybody else. <laughs> you are a hugger. <laughs> and, uh, but, but what I would say is that the mill levy override, the bond issue and the success foundation, People in Greeley now trust District 6, and because of that trust, every one of those things has become successful, and I, I am very grateful to all the people who are willing to share what they have financially with us, and, and I would challenge them not only to give their hard-earned money, but to share their time with the people in the community because ultimately that's how it really gets to be a better place. You know, the, the ability of students to overcome challenges is unbelievable, but it's much easier with the willingness of other human beings to share. And, and I think that that's something that we can't forget. And I mean, it's all of our students who need help and, and now especially more than than even in the past agreed and thank you again for you all and your vision with this fund um i i cannot thank you enough i just uh, again we see current students we see now community members that truly sometimes it's 15 dollars that really set, set someone on a different path thank you both like i say I, i've gotten to work with you but you are my friends and um i love you both and appreciate you very much Thanks. thank you Julie.